So we had a wonderful comment on our YouTube uh, page. I forget which clip it was, but it was a young man thanking us for our message and our philosophy of self-love because his girlfriend, now that she's connected to herself through pleasure, is a better lover. Say that again. Now that she is connected to herself by masturbating, self-pleasuring, she's a better lover. Ah, oui. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> it's, it's very basic. It's very simple. When women can jerk off by themselves and their friends, it creates arousal. They know what they want. And they experience pleasure in on, on their own terms. Why is that important, Dr. Dodson? Because <laughs> <laughs> we had like an hour discussion of why being self-sufficient <laughs> is so important. Ahem, <laughs> ahem. Why is that important? That is the question of the year. Well, your point was that you've lived your life on your own terms. You're self-sufficient. It's terrifying. And because of that, you're happy. And we're not expected to be happy. On but our... what happens when women are happy? They do their own thing. <laughs> and does it include a lot of orgasms with people and by themselves? Everything. <laughs> By yourself and with people. You are your own person. My God, that's terrifying. I don't identify with a man. I don't live with a man. I don't depend upon a man. They're always welcome. And well, I and that's the thing. People think we're anti-man, and that's why I love this comment, because our point is that we're just about women being whole. And what was the comment? that now that his girlfriend has been masturbating and found our website, she's a better lover. Better or so orgasms with herself meant that now she brings that energy into her partner sex. Which he should be grateful for. He was. He, and com he, oh, he, was. <laughs> he commented and thanked us. <laughs> he was like, thank you, Dodson and Ross. I have a, a much better sex life with my girlfriend. It's nice to be acknowledged. It is, and that's why I'm like, we get very, we get a, mostly hate comments because people have to get worked up. So when someone takes the time to say thank you. Yes. It's important. It is, an, absolutely. And so thank you for acknowledging. For acknowledging. Your our, work and your philosophy. Our work. Of self-love. And our philosophy of self-love. And we were having an interesting discussion about why self-love and self-care has to be grounded in orgasm. It has to be grounded in pleasure. Otherwise, it doesn't count. But why is that, you think? I wish I could verbalize it, but why? A woman has to be in touch with her sexuality to be whole. To have a sense of self. It's absolutely necessary. And of course, our culture doesn't support that. <laughs> no, you're always looking outward instead of going inward. Yeah. Go inside, that's where it's at. <laughs> Go inward, inward. Well, that's where you're gonna find happiness. And I think once you find your personal happiness, then you can move out and, to ha and have successful relationships, because that's what we all want. Whether it's a friendship or a romantic relationship or a business relationship. All the same thing, all the same thing, all the same thing. It works. If you're happy with yourself and you're self-sufficient and you can look outside and say, I did a good job. Good job. And I'm good. I'm great. Yes. Good and job. And you know what? I'm hot. Like, I always turn myself on and I feel like maybe if I was looking outward for a turn on, it would be hard. Because there isn't so much for women as a turn on. There's a lot of life that's a turn off. But when I can go in, and then I can be like, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm worth it. <laughs> I'd fuck me. <laughs> it boils down to, I'd fuck me any day. <laughs> I'd fuck me so hard. <laughs> and that's where we all need to get to. <laughs> Absolutely. When you want to fuck yourself. <laughs>
finally, <laughs> after all is said and done, it, that's what it's about. It's that simple. When you want to fuck yourself. <laughs> I think that's the title of this clip. When you want to fuck yourself, you want to fuck other people really good. And that's what'll happen. So be it. Any, any last words you want to say? Keep masturbating, please. <laughs> That's the key to success. Mm -hmm. From a lifetime of masturbation. <laughs> Thank you. It has never ceased to sustain you, <laughs> propel you, make you famous. Continue, continues to support me and sustain me. I have a wonderful sex life right now with myself and my dildo. And the fantasies. Oh, the fantasies. I love my fantasies. Well, I'm such a pervert that I feel like I think of better things than anything I can see in film <laughs> <laughs> or anywhere of, else. Of course. Right? It's like I can think of some pretty twisted shit. Like, yep, yep. And yep. I know you can too. <laughs> <laughs> and we do all the time. <laughs> Sometimes during erotic recess, Betty and I will start verbalizing fantasies. Oh, they love it. They get real quiet. <laughs> Listening. We are perverts. In the best way possible. Thank you. With ourselves. Yes. But that's where it begins and ends, really. Mm. With ourselves. <laughs>